Would you accept that when the time comes for a national debate leading to a referendum, say, on an Irish exit, it's best that the Eurosceptic viewpoint puts forward a clear vision for precisely what those advocating leave wish for the future? This is something that I think the Brexiteers walked into. There was no ultimate vision, and this all seemed to have been shaken out of the tree after the vote had happened. Is that something we should watch out yeah, for? Yeah, and it's very valuable what's happened in Brexit, because, you know, there's no doubt about it, but the messes were made on all sides, and we, we learn much more. I don't think Ireland, if it was leaving the EU, would want to go through the same experience as the UK, and I don't think the EU would want to either. Um, so, I think we do have to express our, 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 our long-term aspirations. I would never see a role for the European Court of, of Justice in, in, in any country that left um, the EU because, as I say in it, and I quote from some thing, it's, it's, it's imperial, not uh, impartial. It is about creating a European uh, Union, a European identity, and the European Union has all the hallmarks of an empire which bullies its local neighbours. So I think we've got that. Um, living on WTO terms, I don't think is an option for Ireland as much as for the United Kingdom. That's why I want to retain uh, the membership of the European Economic Area for some years, uh, so that we could do what Norway does. Norway opts in and opts out of policies, and of course they contribute an awful lot less uh, to the uh, EU budget. And Norway's population and the population of the Republic of Ireland, or Southern Ireland, is fairly close to each other. So. I think Norway is a good model for us, um, and um, I think we should look at that model. But we need to, you're right, we need to spell out exactly what it entails. And um, For me, it entails, at the start, moving to the, to the European economic area and staying for a period in the, the, uh, the, the um, customs union and the uh, single market, but with giving us time to, to, to sculpt um, more independent policy. I also think that we really will end up much more in, with, with Canada, the United States and Britain and maybe Australia. Anglophone. Yeah, the Anglophone area. It's where our people go, it's where our small businesses um, 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 do business. I, do, I, I put a piece in, uh, in, in, the, in the book about where Irish investment goes and you know Irish investment goes to, to the Anglophone countries, Irish people. And it's not just because of the language. Of course, the language is a part of it. But if you're an electrician and you train in Dublin and you go to uh, Vancouver, you can work. You, you're an electrician and you go to um, uh, Vienna. I doubt if you walk in and all your qualifications are recognised immediately. You know, It's just that that is the way this society is structured.